Hello everybody, it's the IT guy here again today doing a short video on video gaming. Now when you play video games on a console it's very easy. You just pop the disc in the disk drive or download the game on the console itself and you're usually just good to go. But with PCs it's a little bit different. Uh, the PC needs to meet certain requirements for the game to play on the PC. So how do you know whether your PC is strong enough to play that game? Well that's something we're gonna find out in this video. Okay, so let's just dive right into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and go to the following website. I'll link the website down in the description below so you can find it easily. It's the systemrequirementslab.com. So when you go to systemrequirementslab.com, you'll end up on this website. Can you run it? That's the website for the system requirements labs. Uh, can you run it tool? So the first thing you're going to notice is a search box right over here. And this search box is actually for people who want to look up their favorite game. So you probably have a game already in mind you want to play on your PC. Uh, so do I. I have chosen Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5. There we go. Battlefield 5. So you just enter the name of the game you want to play in the search box here. Just uh, select it from the drop down uh, list down here and you just press the can you run it button. So then you will end up on this uh, web page over here. This web page will show you the minimum requirements just in text. Uh, of course, some people might already know what this all means, but if you're not really that handy in computers, then there's also a tool been developed for you. For the people who are not very, you know, tech savvy or people who are not really into computer hardware or computers uh, in, its, in its entirety. So just click this blue button over here. Can you run it? This will take you to, the, to another web page and this web page will uh, show you a file that has to be downloaded. You can save the file. And then you can run it. Uh, this a specific program will uh, detect the PC's hardware uh, specific specifications and it will compare those specifications with the minimum requirements provided by Battlefield 5's uh, or your game's uh, game uh, developers. So after this program is done running you will end up on this website, this web page. This web page will show you if your PC is covering the minimum requirements and also if it's covering the recommended requirements. In my case, the PC is covering the minimum requirements but not the recommended requirements. So what does that mean? It means that my PC is able to play the game, you know, just play it. It does not show you how good it will perform. If, you, uh, if, if your PC covers the recommended requirements, then most likely your PC is going to perform very well on the game as well. Now, it depends on what you want to do, of course. Now, if you're a hardcore gamer, uh, you're probably, first of all, not watching this video and you already know what you need. But still, if you want very good performance, if you're not very tech savvy and you still want to get very good performance, and then I would recommend you take the PC to a local computer store uh, or do a little bit of research online. If you want to try to get a little bit tech savvy, you can do a little bit of research online on the subject of computer hardware and gaming. But if you're not very tech savvy, I recommend you take the game and the PC to a local computer store and ask them for some upgrades. Um, if you are a little bit tech savvy, you can go over into this section. It will give you a little bit of detail about which things you should be upgrading. So if you have already opened up a PC and you have replaced a little bit of RAM, if you have maybe uh, replaced a hard drive or maybe you dusted out a computer or something, you've already seen the inside of a computer, uh, which is by the way, not difficult at all. It's like Legos, so uh, do not be afraid to just open up the computer case and look inside you know I'm not gonna force you to do it but it's not that difficult than, than most people think uh, but anyway this will show you uh, which things do not uh, uh, do not cover the recommended requirements and in my case my video card 
my video card does not have enough video RAM. So I do have, if you can see over here, the recommended requirements is at least a GTX 1060. I have a GTX 1060, but it only has three gigabytes of video memory and the required amount is six gigabytes. So there are two versions in the 1060, it has a three gigabyte version and a six gigabyte version. Obviously I took the cheaper one. Uh, and also the CPU uh, is not does not suffice. So mine is uh, a Core i5 6600K and it requires at least a Core i7 or an AMD Ryzen 3. So that's the thing you get me looking into to upgrade. But again, if you are not sure, I'm not forcing you to do this. I'm just saying it's not as difficult as most people think. But if you are not sure, then please take the PC over to professional computer stores who, are, who know what they're doing. They have experience with upgrading PCs and putting new video cards in there. And maybe they'll just say, I'm sorry, the costs are not worth the effort. You're just better off buying a new computer. That might be the case as well. Uh, you should just follow these guys, uh, these people's advice because, you know, they probably know it a lot better than you do. So that's just what I'm saying. So I hope this video answered your question to see whether your PC can play a certain game or not and whether it's worth the upgrade or not. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.